So another Boker arrived today. This is a Boker canoe, and I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of the canoe pattern. I have a case canoe, and I think I have a little Rough Rider canoe that I never did a video on. Um, but I wanted another one of these Boker models with the beer barrel wood covers. And it was either like this or the Congress. And this was like $30 less than the Congress. So I was like, okay, I'll get a canoe. Um, you got the cool uh, beer barrel wood covers that I like. Um, I have a Stockman in this as well. Uh, you can see the shield it says Sologen on it. So this is one of the good, the good bokers that's made in Sologen. Not that hybrid knives or whatever. It's got your reverse frosted uh, tree brand classic etch on the blade. Um, it does have some blade rub with the pen blade because this is a single back spring canoe, which isn't really that common a thing these days. Uh, most canoes you see are going to have two back springs, one for the pen blade and one for the main spear blade. Uh, but this one's running them off of one back spring like they would have back in the day. Uh, of course, it's called a canoe because the frame is shaped like a canoe. Um, the tip on this end does look a little proud, um, but I've run my finger over it and everything, and I can't cut myself on that even trying to so I'm not that concerned about it um, the pen blade is rather hard to get open compared to the main blade um, it's rather it's a really small little pen blade um, not super useful um, but you know you have a little backup blade there then um, the action on the main blade pretty good it does look a little weird because of how the blade sits in there um, when compared to other pocket knives like it sits down way lower on the back spring and everything so it's a little odd um, but I assume that Boker knows what they're doing so I don't think it'll be a problem um, overall uh, knives put together pretty well. There's no huge gaps or anything. There are some slight gaps, but that's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, it does rub the pen blade, but that's just a product of it being a single back spring canoe. And you can see how close those blades have to be there to have them fit. So you're going to end up with some blade rub on something like this. It's just kind of inevitable, in my opinion. Um, at some point, the blades are going to rub. Uh, it's like a, you know, stockman knife. At some point, you're going to get blade rub. It's just the way it goes. Um, but yeah, uh, a nice looking knife. I really do like the beer barrel um, covers. I think they look great. Um, you know, they even smell good when you pull them out of the box. Mine don't smell good anymore because I put some WD-40 in the uh, joints of the knife. And, of course, that stuff's so thin, so it gets everywhere. So my wood covers smell like WD-40 currently. Um, hopefully, at some point, that'll wear away, but we'll see. Um, but, yeah, just a good-looking knife. Uh, pretty well put together and everything. Just like I pretty much have come to expect from Boker. Um, Boker's right, it's right in between Case and Great Eastern Cutlery, but probably closer to Great Eastern Cutlery, um, when it comes to build quality, um, their knives are put together really well, of course they're made in Germany, so, uh, Germans are kind of known for putting stuff together pretty well, um, you know, um, but, yeah, overall, just a cool-looking knife, um, you know, good-looking, well put together. Um, I think that's like the third time I've said that. Um, and another example of their beer barrel uh, wood covers, which I think are neat. Um, but anyway, I think that's going to be it for...
this video. Um, and I will see you in the next one. You have a good day.